Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel. Today we are in South Boston. Um here at the South Boston Military Checkpoint. I started here because I realised I didn't get a magazine that was here. I'm gonna show you it. But we are going to be going to Jamaica Plains or Plain, uh investigating the mysterious treasure there. We're then going to be going to Malden near MedTech Research. Um, and going to a vault there and then we're also just going to go near Walden Pond to get this power armor all aiming to gain affinity for Nick Valentine so I'm just going to show you where the um how the fudge do you turn that off ok it's here no. alright I'm just gonna get away from that because it's annoying me. Um so Jamaica Plains is yes, over here as I said. Um and we're just gonna kinda go there and investigate the mystery of the Jamaica Plains. So I'm just gonna warn you, it is heavily covered in ghouls. What a way to start the morning. Okay. So there's kind of a mystery around Jamaica Plains. Um, so we'll go to the sign and have a look. So Drake, Jamaica Plain, the fabulous treasures of Jamaica Plains. This stunning exhibit will be on display for one week only for these priceless items are sealed away never to be seen again. October 17th to the 23rd. Ooh. So, yeah, there are a bunch of... Yeah, there's not supposed to be a guy. To be fair. So yeah, as you can see, the treasures of Jamaica Plains. So let's go have a look see, shall we? Let's make sure I've got my time run so I don't run over. Okay, so there are a lot of ghouls here. A lot. I'll put my gun away because I can't bloody see a thing. Another one. Don't be naughty. So you're gonna go straight into it. So find the church, basically. It's the fastest way. And then, as you go to the church, you're gonna see this barrel, and you're gonna see the city hall there. And then you're gonna find Carl Everett. So Jamaica Plain Town Hall Key, and then we've got Carl's log. So let's have a listen or read, depending. A listen. I oh, don't no, read. So Jamaica Plain Raid Team Sal Lead Heavy Weapons Luke Silverhand Gearhead Tech Intel Ken Standish Scout Locks Traps Stealth Tanya Standish Small Arms and Close Combat Hadrian Sniper No Response Carl Everett Getting the Hell Out of Here August logs, Sal again, Dan won't give up, never should have taken that contract. 
I've got ten days to come up with the cat so she'll haul me in for that bounty. That's what I get for crossing an ex gunner. Nothing. All the short term gigs are for mercs or gearheads. No one needs a fixer, even with my connections. But I've got to come up with some money somehow. An old rumour, that's all I've got. But if I spin it right, maybe I can convince Sal it's worth more than the price of my head. August. She bought it. The treasures of Jamaica Plain. Greatest prize in the Commonwealth. The big score no one's ever pulled off. I convinced her I can pull together a team. If it'll keep me breathing, I'll call in every favour I've got. I've dug up all the info I can. There's something down there, something big. Security sounds insane. Turrets, robots, locks, you name it. And that's if we can make it past the ghouls. 200 years and no one's even come close. And yet, the old papers barely mention it. Something's fishy. I don't know what. Just hope Sal doesn't catch on until I, I'm far away. So, everyone thinks the great treasures, but he's thinking the old papers do not mention this treasure. So something's up. October. No word from Hadrian, but the others are all here. Sal's got heavy weapons covered, all silverman. Silver hand himself to handle security. Ken Standish for scouting and locks, his wife for muscle, to keep him in line, even managed to ground up some pre-war junk from the town. Maybe it'll come in handy. Sal's insisting I go along. I tried to beg off, but she won't have it. I know too much. Once she gets through, she'll gut the lot of us, I'm sure. But there's nothing I can do to stop her. I don't think I'm getting out of this alive. Mate, I don't even think you made it there, did you? Poor sod. So there's a few others. There's a couple, a dude, and then there's a woman named Sal. So this starts like a miscellaneous quest. Find the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Now you can get down there yourself, but it is very, very tricky. So you're best off finding his team who were all dead in the town. So I think they're over this way so yeah if you go this way from like where the road with the church on it sorry folks won't be chewing on us you're gonna find a bunch of dead ghouls and a lot of alive ones you're gonna make your way up the stairs ooh grenade you're gonna find your way here. Looks like they killed themselves. To be fair, honest. To make a plain flyer, torn journal page. Someone made a real mess of you, didn't they? And to make a plain archives key, Ken's invitation. So torn page and Ken's invitation. Ken, 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 Ken. Where the fuck is it? So Jamaica Plain Flyer. The treasures of Jamaica Plain, October seventeenth to the twenty third to twenty seventy seven. Eight AM five PM daily. Come see the fabulous treasures of Jamaica Plain. This stunning exhibition will be on display for one week only before these priceless items are sealed away, never to be seen again. Bring the entire family to this once in a lifetime event. Okay. Journal scrap. Was that hers? Okay, I oh know that's something else. Ken's invitation. Oh, okay, there we go. Hey, Ken, it's Carl. You two still looking for a score? I got a lead for you. You know Sal? Ex Gunner? She's after the treasures of Jamaica Plain. The biggest haul in the Commonwealth if you can get past the ghoul. I know you and Tanya have. It's almost over as soon as we get that treasure. I can finally do away with that damn woman and her leering looks at my Ken. Can't wait to wipe the smoke off that stupid bitch's face. Oh, okay. Okay, so go back to this road where you found Carl Everett. He didn't seem really to make it very well. 
I think when they saw the amount of ghouls, I feel like they just all split. Um, there's also a settlement right here. It's a very small settlement. Um, but it's a settlement nevertheless. Um, so once you clear all the ghouls, you'll get it. Anyway, so you'll notice can't open it from this end. the door is chained. Now you can go through there. There is also a little trick. Um, one of these. There it is. You can just kind of go through the door. You can't get back out, but uh, you won't have to. Because you just unchain the lock. But here is Luke Silverhand. Jamaica Plain. Silverhand's Mare's ID. So we want Silverhand's note. Manifest said it was a Type V laser defense grid, practically military grade. Whatever's down there, the security is the real deal. Should be easy enough to let the others in, then reactivate the system. Let the turrets deal with them. No need to get my hands dirty. So, no honor among thieves. Now we just need to find Sal. I actually can't remember where she is. Um, I gotta have a look around to see if I can. Uh, got a few, few, few naughties. Come on, baby. Ooh, legendary gangrenous feral goo. Because I can't see diddly squat when it gets down, I'm just going to wait a couple of hours. It won't take long. I hope we've got enough time for everything. <laughs> to make a plane isn't that long, to be fair. Okay, that'll do. So I just need to find Sal. Wherever she may be. Oh, I think I do remember where she is. Actually. So. You're going to go into here. Open the door. Da da da. Game bastard. The fuck? Bastard. Fucking on me like. I can't even describe it. Anyway. Yuck. Okay. So, that's what you need the Met Town Hall key. Though you can just jump down. As you can see. So, you don't really need the Town Hall key. Um. Anything you can't haul my way. There is the Mer's Terminal, and I am going to hack that myself. Tell me we don't need to find some. Um, because obviously it'll get a like with Valentine, which is the reason I'm doing this. Because I'm trying to get him to trigger his own quest and reach a certain level of affinity. There was one there, but I just want to try something. So it's not foraging. One, two, three, yeah, four. I'm in. Treasures exhibition speech. We all gathered a day to commemorate the treasures of Jamaica Plain, though ours may be small communities, rich in history, rich in culture, rich in memory, and for the sake of those memories, we commit these treasures to the earth that future generations might look back and remember where we stood and see how far they have come. Sealing ceremony, da 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 da. Budget statement. Eeks. That's a lot of money. Safe control, cool. Something in There's here. a safe somewhere. Does that may take oh, a while. Um, so yeah, Valentine will like it whenever you hack terminals. So then you want to go up here. If you want to kill the boss, the Jamaica Plains, uh, it is up here. It is. I can't even remember. I think it's in here. Sorry, folks. Won't be chewing on us. Now. That's 
close. Ah, there's Sal. Oh, so you can get the password if you didn't have it. Sal's holotape. Oh, she's got some good stuff. Sal's holotape. Let's have a listen. Looks like you went the wrong way. So this is where you need town hall key. This will cost some. I mean, sorry, it will be like expert or master or something. I can't remember which. So there shouldn't be. So this is the janitor's terminal. Basically he's just saying he's pissed off with the space he's lost. So orientation and then you're going to hit now Welcome if you to the treasures of Jamaica Plain. The security system is active. Please present your identification. So you can disarm these and you will get usually build security like this to protect a broom closet. Yeah, you get fiber optics and steel. But if you picked up that card from that Ken Silverman, Welcome, it works. Also, like, it will set off these turrets, which aren't too bad. And then that's why you need the mayor's password. Because you will sell. See if I can turn off the do. I didn't think I did hear something. Yeah, you can also go this way. Which is the other side of the door. Commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. Seen this place make monsters out of men. So there is a few terminals that we can have some fun with, but I do need to sit down for two hours before I do that. But let's go into Jamaica Plain. So excuse door are not. Treasures of Jamaica Plain. Welcome to the treasures the of Jamaica Plain. former citizens of Jamaica Plain and I have very Within different definitions. Within the walls definitions. of this time capsule, you are descendants. Hold on. The treasure. Yeah, they do. Treasures of Jamaica Plain, where was that? Let's listen to that again without him interrupting. Welcome to the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Within the walls of this time capsule, you, our descendants, will find the items and mementos we treasured in the year 2077. To you, 
So you get a 2076 World Series baseball bat. Small chance to send targets flying. That sounds fun. Never actually used it before, but it's like a collector's thing. But that is the treasures. That is what so many people have died for. That is what they protected. The thing is, it kind of shows you how petty we were. A bunch of junk. We protect. We protect it with so much security. Anyway, so I'm just gonna hack these terminals. Oh my god, why did it do that? Hopefully, it'll let me sit somewhere for a second, so I can hack the terminals. Oh, there's an upstairs. Oh, that's that's the door I came in. Perhaps he's got something. No, this is the janitor's terminal. So there's a fucking lot. Yes, yeah, so just a load of information. Let's see if I can sit down, please. No, it won't let me wait. I'll come back. I'll come back. Ooh. Okay. Oh, where am I going? So, like, what I could do is go out, wait two hours and then come back. Which <laughs> seems tedious but I probably won't come back so might as well just go with it while we're here. I will show you how to get the um, settlement as well. Here's the workbench. Sorry, folks, won't be chewing on us. So yeah, I can now get a bed. Sleep for two hours and then go and hack that. I'm sorry, this is gonna just be like two moments. <laughs> Now I don't want to lose some of the stuff to be fair, kind of worth keeping because you're never going to come across it again. So you know just be aware of that. You know what I'm bloody like, I'm a Well ain't that holder. a blast from the past. Hey. There's something you need? Oh mate, you don't even know. It's the treasures of Jamaica Plain. <laughs> Alright yeah, so let him just hold all that for me. Alright, let's go hack that terminal. So next, now that we've done that, now that we've like explored Jamaica Plain and understood that the treasure everybody died for wasn't even treasure, um, we are then going to go to Molden, if you guys can remember where that was. So Molden is where you go with like the Brotherhood, no no no, with the railroad. It, it, it'll pop up later on further into the Brotherhood quests um, and it's kind of just a it's just, it's just a place really a lot of it's broken down to be fair so it's not great but there is the Medford Memorial Hospital which I find you do go there quite a lot like there's always supermutants there it is a deadly place to be fair Okay, we've got we got prices. Ah, shit. There must be. I must have missed a couple. Ah, 
I knew it. I knew it was going to be the other one. Alright, we'll try this one. Try and be super speedy. Ooh, expanded is close. I bet it's that engineer. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to activate that one because it's naughty, naughty. Um, I'm not going to come back. It's just wasting time. But I, I'm just showing you what what you can do. So there's two terminals there that you can hack. Um, to gain more affinity for Valentine. I think he's close because I did get that love and I like with that Billy the Kid or the Kid in the Fridge mission. So I think he's kind of close but it may also take a little bit of time. But I don't really have any other quests to do with him other than the main one but I kind of wanted to get his quest done by the time I did that. So anyway hopefully he'll, he'll just wake up and just go yeah it's alright I'll, I'll be your friend we can go and do that together okay here we are Someone's coming. Did good. Alright, so this is Mol Mol Molten? Mol Molden. So if you walk this way. I've never actually walked like dead center into it before. Down there is the hospital, which is where Sue Beans are. Here's Slocum Joe's corporate headquarters. And now we're going to continue walking this way till you get to the school bus. And you're going to notice a very broken down old school which you can't get into. Malden Middle School. But don't let that deceive you. If you go into the wreck, and you're gonna see school staff, da 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 da. But then you're gonna notice. <gasps> What's this? I should get onto it. Malden Middle School Basement. Sorry, I'm talking to you like like you're an invalid, but you're not. Sorry. <laughs> um, you can get where I'm going with this. Keep an eye on that. You're gonna walk in and you're gonna be like, What the fuck? There's a vault. To be honest, this is probably the vault that I went to. Shit. So it is filled with gunners. But just ignore them. The elevator will work actually, I just forgot about that. But yeah, it's a vault. Um as you know, whenever you go into a vault, make sure to check the terminals. Admissions terminal press release 
uh, Washington DC in response to growing national concern for the safety of our children. In the events of a nuclear attack, the Baltic officials have cooperated with local government in Mulder, Massachusetts to provide subsidised enrolment fees for any families wishing to sign up for residency in Vault 25. The newly opened vault is attached directly to Mulder's elementary school, showing a swift evacuation should an attack come during class time. Safeguarding the future has always been our priority. Gives us extra peace of mind. Enrollment policy. Uh, vault Tech will offer special discounts subsidies for qualifying families. This special offer can only be to extended to families meeting the following requirements. One or more enrolled family members are children under the age of 15. Enrolled children attend public school within the township of Malden. Massachusetts, the enrollment group includes no more than two adults per qualifying child. Please note that Vault 75 also permits the individual enrollment of children for families who cannot afford to also enroll a parent or guardian. Special admission protocols. Upon activation of Vault 75, all residents must be subject to standardised to standard admission protocols, details of which can be found in the Vault Tech personal handbook. Once residents have been verified and sanitised, once residents have been verified and sanitised, children under the age of 17 are to be taken to the atrium area. There, they will meet with the overseer who will provide orientation information specific to the children. All other residents are to be taken to the holding area to await their briefing from the head of security. Admission records. Why are they only admitting the children? Surname. So, Avail, what does that mean? I have no idea. So it's something about children. Which is never good. Going down. Bolt seventy five mission. Cool cool cool. Where is Lower Level? Some more admissions. More, more admissions. Quick save. Sorry, I just did that periodically. Um. So you're gonna notice there's a door here. Security. Security is where the adults were held. Gotta find the card. We need to find a lab access card. Very controlled here. So we can go to the atrium. So this is where the children were held when they were first admitted to Vault Ooh. 75. Ooh. Did not it's even for now. Did not even realise. Um
someone to come in. I had that way so much more ammo. So this is this, this is the reactor with the bus. So this is where the children can come out and play. Bit spooky. Um, there's some rooms. Shared bathroom, food cafeteria. It's like a big old school. Um, and then here goes to into what? Gym, changing room. Testing facilities. What the fuck are they doing to these poor kids? Should have stayed in bed. Treadmills. We're hot. Good, good. Weapons. Right, this is where it wanted me to go. Who? Now this. I suppose it reminds them of the waste, except a lot more safer. And there's the vault lab access. So this appears to be some sort of training area. Um, you know, they have food, water, and they have training area. To be honest, they got a very good lightness. Um, combat st simulation. Top gel, 25 seconds, injector, 28, and bob. Oh, let's have a go. Starting course. Hold well on, let me get a, that. I, I got that. Yeah. Three, two, one, begin. Oh my god. was shockingly shit. Oh! <laughs> what time did I do? Shit! I still can't be in though! <laughs> Let's do it one more time, one more time, one more time. Starting course in mm. three, three, two, two one, one, begin. Okay, move Valentine. I think died. a good time. A few stray bullets but never hurt anybody. What time, what time, come on. 17 seconds. Good. I think I've done it before. I can oddly remember that. I don't think I've done, done this quest.
progressed in ages. So we need to get back up, sorry. A bit distracted there. We need to get back up to where we were. This isn't it. Why didn't we come through like a a room? Oh look, this room. Was it this room? No. This room. So we need to get back up these stairs. So this is like the training room. And then here's the lab access right here. I don't think there shouldn't be really any gunners here, should there? No use. Not without the card. So now we need the admin card, which is showing us where it is. So that opens the other door that we were at at the beginning. There's some stairs upwards, which is taking us to the right room. What? How are there gunners in here? They're watching them from right, from from above. Like that goes down and down. Like there's the second floor that's just down there, and that goes even further. So they so this is Vault Tech observation, observations. I don't know. Let's have a quick snoop. So there's there's pillars and things. So they must have known. There's a lot of beds, unless there was just a lot of scientists. But what can scientists learn from watching kids? Hey, hey. Alright, so they're watching them during training simulations. They're watching them during screening, during just whatever they were doing there. And this is where they slept. No remorse. And then of course there's the other bits. Um, so let's go through here. What? Who? Uh, down. Uh, uh, Don't underestimate us again. Oh, bobblehead. Science bobblehead. Get one extra guess when hacking terminals. Do you know that's funny because that is the perk that you get from Valentine. So Vault 75 admin access. We'll be so this is all based on you trying to figure out what what Vault Tech's aim for this vault was. Like why were they uh really weird about getting children to stay here? Why why were they training them and putting them through training exercises, you know? Why do Vault Tech do anything for the pursuit of science as they call it? Uh alright, so then we follow back. So this seems a bit confusing, but it's not. To be honest, when you start it, it's not that bad. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so this is the admin, not a typical overseer's room. Let's get into this advanced. Got it. This is their room. Shower facilities. Bulging to two, four, six, so there's about six. Oh, he died in his sleep. Um, let's look at these terminals. Well, none are working except for that one. So, Chief Scientist's Terminal. 
Prime Directive. Here we go. Welcome to Vault 75. As outlined in your confidential briefing package, Vault 75 is part of a top secret military program. You have been selected for your professional credentials, experience, and commitment to the improvement of the human genome. Oh, God. It is of the utmost importance that you follow the protocols herein. The mission of Vault 75, above all, is the refinement of human genetics. Your scientific staff will operate according to the research schedule set by Skelet, Braun, we know who he is, and Lamb. You will be working with an overseer with a background as a military officer. Your overseer will be responsible for training and maintaining Ma maintaining the subject population you'll be working with. It is important that you and your MCA maintain a healthy working relationship. Experimental abstract. Vault 75 represents an unprecedented opportunity to test our hypothesis that the human genome can be improved at a rapid rate through the combination of selective breeding, hormonal treatments, genetic modification and an accelerated gen generational cycle. The experimental objectives of Vault 75 are detailed in the handbook, which has been provided to you already. This experiment is intended to be carried out over multiple generations. As such, there may be unanticipated research opportunities that present themselves. Such diversions from provisional protocol are permitted at the discretion of the science chief. Okay, Staff replenishment. Because Vault 75 represents a long-term experiment in a closed environment, it will become important to replenish staff periodically. This shall be done by selecting, by selective recruitment of, of outgoing subjects. Outgoing subjects. We anticipate a certain percentage of the residents' population to exhibit high intelligence scores, but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for genomic harvesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We anticipate a certain percentage of the resident population to exhibit high intelligence scores but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for genomic harvesting. So if they were the best, then they would be harvested. These subjects may be at overseer and chief scientist discretion, offered the opportunity to join staff. Those who refuse should be disposed of in the same manner as unqualified outgoing subjects. What the fuck? Please note that not all internally recruited staff that please note that all internally recruited staff should be kept separately, strictly separate from general population for at least 15 years to prevent members of the general population recognising former residents among the staff. Only the most trusted and capable staff members should be admitted to the genomics laboratory and responsible for the but responsibility for the chief scientist to very carefully choose their staff members. Genomic harvesting protocol. Outgoing patients aged 18 years with aggregated scoring of superior or excellent across key physical, mental, social traits must be escorted to the genomic laboratory. Genomics. I can't say that. Processing should be done on an individual basis and with great care. Remember that successful subjects will likely be the capable of overpowering staff. We reiterate to the subject that a brief, brief round of vaccinations is necessary and avoid arousing any suspicion otherwise. Each subject should have a file for processing indicates whether which specific organic material needs to be reserved for future testing. Be sure that these directions are strictly adhered to and that specimens are stored quickly. Genomic reports. Genome donors. Recruitment. Only one need recruitment society to have to see with, with the Washington Journal and Germany today. Physicals were very low, exhibition, good problem solving, critical thinking. He kept it disposed. He had a very low disposal overhead thanks to the excellent harvest ratio this year. Just 74% of the overall graduating class incinerations will be done within the week. Good first task for Washington before we begin the real work. Archive records. So they were basically using kids. Basically, training them, training them, training them, getting to them to be Who's there? the best Let's that they rock. bloody well can. Also, also they can be harvested and their organic material will be tested on to further improve the human genome. Even though they were excellent already. Sounds a bit strange, if you ask me. They probably could have just harvested a few bits 
the DNA and things, or sperm, and then they could have tested on that, you know, then it'd be fine. <sighs> Overseas log, new researcher, worried about new recruiting science, he's supposed to be on his simple observation duties and closely monitored until the subject he knows in population have been processed. I know we've done this many, many times before, but something about this one feels wrong. I'm not sure I should have let him talk him into it. Next UK fire in archive. Damn it all, some kind of wiring issue caused a fire in the archive. We lost some hardware that I'm told will be difficult to repair, if not impossible. Science lost a lot of the historical research data, though I'm told we can get some genius stuff started transcribing hard copies. Some of the locks failed once the fire got bad, worrying turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Science staff nearly nearby got in and stopped the blaze quickly. If the locks hadn't failed, then one or more of the senior scientists would have had to manually open the doors. Remote door control open. I don't see how coming in here kind of... So basically they were worried about a researcher, then all of a sudden there was a fire. Basically, there must have been some sort of uprising. Ooh. Oh, there's an obviously safe key there if you want that. Ooh, magazine. There we go. Grognight the Barbarian. Um, it doesn't really tell you what happened. I remember reading a terminal from somebody, I can't remember who, in the science wing. We haven't really got long left in this video, so I'm not going to go through it. But basically, this dude who didn't agree with what they were doing, that new researchers they said, he basically um, helped cause an uprising and got everyone out, and a lot of people wanted to leave the role. And I think that's what they did, basically. Um, so, yeah. That was uh, so the Jamaica Plains mystery and Going the up. Vault 75 whole backstory type of thing. It wasn't very easily explainable. I mean, I like the whole mission to get Round access to four. it, but it wasn't very explained very well, I find. Um, I just know that from reading some folklore. Um, so, yeah, that was that. We haven't got time to do the um get the power armor but the power armor is located um where Walden Ponds is towards this way you're gonna find it in a wrecked train car so basically what I'm gonna do in the next few um just off camera I'm going to be trying to raise Valentine's um affinity up until we trigger his quest and then that should be the next video if it's taking longer than I thought then it's likely I'll move on to Deacon for a little bit, then come back to Valentine at some point. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is Belle, I do hope you like this video. And I hope you join us in the next few videos where, you know, we kind of just explore it more. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is Belle, as I said again. Um, oh, where's that shot? Oh, ah! And yeah, goodbye.